is uh, like the most accurate costume from the original series possible. And let me tell you why. Um, first of all, let's start with the tunic. The tunic is, uh, is a perfect recreation of the original Shatner worn tunic from the second season. I saw it myself. I examined it. We took reference pictures. It's the same fabric. It's this little double knit. And uh, we were meticulous in recreating it, even down to like the little blind stitching. You can see where it's folded under. So you people who make stuff will go, ooh, blind stitching. <laughs> and, uh, and then, um, the pants are, are made from the same, uh, it's not, everybody thought they just wore black pants, right? No, they were black sparkle fabric. And they had very fine little sparkles, and when the light hit them just so, you could see the sparkles. And then finally, the boots were made in Los Angeles by the same company, Willie's Shoes Service, that made the original boots for the original series 50 years ago. Oh. So, um, I'm geeking out. <laughs> so the only question is, will I frighten Leonard Nimoy? <laughs> when I come up to him and say, where have you been, Spa? I need you. Um, we've got a lot of fun stuff to talk about today. And I hope it's not too distracting that I'm in bright green. <laughs> I wanted to ask you a question, but I couldn't see you. It's my favorite color. So uh, let's just get started. Um, for those of you, look real quick. Let me get the the uh, <coughs> required things out of the way. Uh, for those of you that weren't here yesterday, um, today there'll be an autograph session at three three thirty, I think. Two two thirty. Three thirty two to two thirty three three thirty down in the, in the big autograph area. And if I didn't get to sign something for you uh, yesterday, or if you weren't here yesterday, or if you were here yesterday and want to come back down and hang out, all of those things are cool. Um, for those of you that wrote and asked me about um, my music CDs. Um, I have those with me and they'll be available at the autograph session. I have six, six different music CDs, all original stuff. Um, I've been writing and producing music twice as long as I've been voice acting, so it's not bad music. <laughs> so, uh, actually, that's a great song. Let's write that one down. <laughs> You know what I'm going to call it? <laughs> Somebody figured out how to spell that. No. Um, and uh, there's a brand new CD that I've got out that I would love for you guys to check out. It's called... Don't get scared. Don't get scared. It's called Revix. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a remix CD. But uh, it's all uh, uh, high-energy, up-tempo, club mix stuff. And uh, on this album, there are three songs from different animes that I've been involved in. One is the Brothers theme from Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> and I know some of you are probably thinking, wait a minute, Vic, contradiction. You just said it was a high energy uh, club mix thing, but Brothers is a ballad. Not the way I did it. <laughs> and then the theme from Be an Angel. <laughs> and then Tamaki's song from Oran High School. Those so, um, a lot of fun songs, and that will also be downstairs. Also, you know what? How many of you guys are members of the Risenbull Rangers? Right here! Oh, I love you, and you, and you, and I love all of you. The rest of you, what's up? <laughs> you need to join us. It's free, and it's awesome fun. Join us. www.risenbull, R-I-S-E-M-B-O-O-L. Rangers.com. It's an online fan group, and we have 14,000 members now worldwide. Woo! It's like having an immediate family of lots of people who love what you love. Who uh, all anime fans, we have forums and chat rooms and all kinds of great stuff. So I'll also have cards at the autograph session if you want to grab one. All right? Um, let's see, what else? Anything else, sweetheart? Your ringtone. <gasps> Ringtones. <laughs> yeah, um, I've made Junpei. <laughs> awesome. Is that a sword between your legs, or...? <laughs> I thought I was gonna hit you. I thought I was being all porno, right? No. No, he has a sword between his legs. <laughs> anyway. Um, it's not a sword. Um, I, uh, I put 
put a whole bunch of original ringtones on iTunes. Uh, so if any of you ever thought it might be fun to have like Tom Kisuo answering your phone or, or your friends getting an Edward Elric voicemail um, or something like that, or maybe even if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan and uh, you want a little Kakarot action on your phone, because you know that's all Broly says, Kakarot. Um, <laughs> then, uh, what? And yes, and Dark Mousey and Ikaku from Bleach. And, uh, pardon? Nagato, now there's an idea. Woo! <laughs> I like the way you think. <laughs> um, anyway, those are all on iTunes as well, and some of you guys are also singers, and you've written me before and said, hey, I want to sing one of your songs for a, a school talent show, or a, or a community thing, or a church project, or whatever, and um, I've put a whole bunch of karaoke tracks yeah. to my song. Yeah. <laughs> um, to, uh, to a lot of my songs, and they're on iTunes as well. So, did you hear that? That was awesome. Did you hear that trail? So, nice. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys some special stuff later on, but for now, let's just uh, chat a little bit about uh, any questions you may have. Yeah, got a present for you. Well, <laughs> oh, presents. there's a present. What is this? Did you draw this? Yes, I did. Well, let's take a look. <laughs> Ooh. It's Edward, exactly as the size he should be. And me in the awesome Star Trek outfit. Yay! Thank you, sweetie. I love it. What is that? Oh my god. I can mimic him, right? <laughs> I'd be like, why is Captain Kirk holding that strange looking cantaloupe? Why does that cantaloupe have a pigtail? <laughs> oh, he is awesome. Is he for me? Yes. I hope so, because I just stole him. <laughs> and she's got a brother! He's got another one. Oh my god. It is, it's like a little, what is it, is it a pumpkin? Yes. Oh, it's a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's awesome. Okay, um, okay, uh, yes, sweet, yes. Um, I don't know if you got it, but we left, the last panel left the dragon on the table for you. The movie's a dragon. The movie's a dragon. In the back? Yeah, not the dragon. A dragon? Yeah, yeah. Like a real one? <laughs> Is it like <laughs> and burning up all the staff back there? Awesome. Thank you. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. Also, a friend of mine is going to be showing up here pretty soon, I think. You guys have to tell you something really funny. Okay, but wait. Let's make a plan here. When I was in college, when I was in college, I still, I was dressing up, you know, Halloween, I do the Star Trek thing, and I had a friend uh, in college with me named Ken Castle, and he lives in Phoenix, awesome. and uh, I made Ken dress up as Mr. Spock. <laughs> And so, I mean, I, still, I actually have pictures on my website, on the Risible Ranger, no, that's on the Risible Rangers website, of me and Ken and this other girl dressed up in Star Trek uniforms for a, uh, a Halloween thing. So Ken is on his way here to come and hang out at the panel. And I haven't seen him in since, I haven't seen him since college. So here's what I'm gonna do. When he comes in, I'm gonna say, Oh, look who's here. And y'all go, hi, Ken. <laughs> All right? But you have to use that, like, smexy voice, you know? <laughs> hi, Ken. All right? You guys ready? Okay, I'll let you know. Your cue will be, oh, look who's here. All right? Uh, yes, who's got a question? Yes, in the back. Uh, can you ask me a dark voice? <laughs> <laughs> How weird. Captain Kurt <laughs> imitating Dark Mousy asking you on a date. What's your name? Allison. Allison, you have to come up here really quick. <laughs> Look how beautiful her kimono. <laughs> turn around, Allison. Turn around. <laughs> Every now and then, it's dark asks me out on a date.
I will be signing tomorrow. In fact, I've asked the convention to give me as many opportunities as possible to sign because I don't want to miss anybody. I invariably, I always, like three weeks after um, a convention, I'll get emails from fans going, I went and came to get an autograph and they cut off the line or there wasn't enough time or whatever. I don't want that to happen. And so um, I'm going to try to find as many opportunities as I can to be down there and sign for you guys. So make sure you come and see me. Yes. Sure. What you guys? What's with the prezies? We love you, Vic. Yeah, but I love you. You're not taking me presents. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh, are you Risa or Riku? Riku. <gasps> you look beautiful. Risa, you can oh my gosh, that's and lovely. Batteries. And you can also um, look, write on it's it. It's a beautiful clock with oh. Edward. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. You are so sweet. You know what's funny is I bring a suitcase with CDs in it, and I and the CDs are empty when the case is empty because the CDs are empty, <laughs> but it's full again with all of these awesome presents. <laughs> so I have to, and I have to, for those of you that are like, just you throw away the presents or, you know, what do you do with all these presents? You know what I do? I, uh, I have a room in my home, and it is full, waist high, with all the awesome things that people have given me. I, I love them and cherish them, so, yes. Well, I love you. Get her up. <laughs> Stop doing this! <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. What's your name? Emma. Hello, Emma. You guys should go out. You're the same color. <laughs> It says Edward. <laughs> the seating. She wants me to say something real quick. Oh. Hi guys, the convention just needs, uh, there's a lot of folks in the back. If there are any open seats where you are, if you wouldn't mind kind of scooting near the middle so that any extra seats are on the outside of the rows because we're kind of getting into fire hazard mode here. Uh -oh. And the folks that are in the back, we can totally Sit have a one line, a new one like uh, aisle line against the walls all the way up here if you want. That's great, but just no one can stand in front of the doors or else the fire marshal will come in. And the hoses. I meant to hit you. Thank you. Were you the one that was in the 17th saying how we should Of course, if you stand in front of the doors, the fire marshal can't get in. We'll talk later, okay? No, sorry. Just kidding. I'm not trying to be uh, anti establishment or anything. All the way in the back with the plushy waves. Who's got a question? Well, you know, when people ask me, uh, is there anything you had in common with Ed? Because, you know, an actor is always going to try to find some common ground. That would be the best way to play a character well, is to be able to find some kind of a commonality with that character. And uh, one of the things that I've often said that I have in common with Ed is, my dad was a jerk. <laughs> And my dad, uh, my parents divorced when I was very young, and my dad and I never had any relationship, and he was gone, and I grew up with my mom. So you can imagine that whenever there were those scenes in the original, in the original series where um, Edward was seething and bitter and stuff about his dad leaving the family and stuff, well, I totally get that, you know. So uh, I, I really connected with that. And uh, and in the new movie, in the new movie, in the new series, 